Hello everyone, my name is Mirna and on behalf of the Mindalia TV team, welcome to Mindalia live streaming, where thousands of people around the world gather daily to see the lectures and interviews organized by Mindalia TV. Today with us, we have the pleasure of having Dr. Sirena Pelarolo. She is a board certified holistic health coach, international author and speaker, radio host and blogger. She has 30 years of experience in self-development, health and wellness, among other many talents. We're gonna be talking with Susan M. Herrera. She's a real estate agent, psychologist, but what is intriguing us more today is the fact that she is the founder of Women Empowering Women. We're gonna be talking a great deal about that. Before starting, we want to remind you that Mindalia's mission is to share information that can help raise the level of consciousness around the world, you can help us by subscribing to our channel, leaving us a positive comment down this video or sharing it with someone that you know that is gonna benefit of the content that we're gonna be talking here today. We also want you to collaborate with Mindalia with your own valuable content. And for that, you can go to our website. On the top, you're gonna find the link. It says collaborate with Mindalia. The link is gonna take you to a form that you can fill out and our technical team will be getting in contact with you. Did you know that you can collaborate with Mindalia not only in English, but also in Portuguese through Mindalia Televisão in Spanish through Mindalia Televisión? Well, yes, you can do that. We want you to follow our different channels, visit our platforms, Facebook pages, Instagram accounts, give us a thumbs up. With that, you not only keep yourself updated with the information that we share there on a daily basis, but you also help us reach as much people in the planet as possible. I'm not delaying this any further, and it's now my pleasure to welcome Dr. Sirena and Susan M. Herrera. Dr. Sirena, welcome to Mindalia live streaming. The screen is yours now. Thank you so much for having me here and co-hosting this show with you, Mirna. And I'm so excited to have Susan, who's a powerhouse here in Southern California, because she is really putting into action all this movement of the feminine rising and the empowerment of women. So I want to uh, uh, welcome you, Susan, and ask you a little bit, tell us a little bit about yourself, your life, What's your background and what brought you to this interest of empowering women? Sure. Hi, and thank you for having me here. I'm so excited to be here. So where do you want me to start? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about you. Um, where, where you come from? Where were you born? What's your community? And how, how, what took you in your life to this interest of uh, empowering women, helping women become empowered? Definitely. So I was born here in Southern California. I always loved uh, social behavioral psychology people. I've been studying them since I was little. When we're little, we don't really realize that these are things about us. But now going back, I see, oh, I, I always had this within me. Um, so I went back to school, uh, to college late in life at 27. I thought I needed a change in my life. And I went back to school and I did it slowly. And my goal then was to work with children. I thought if I could change a child's life um, in elementary or junior high, high school, um, maybe that didn't have the resources, just one life, that's what I wanted to do. So in 2013, in November, God put Women Empowering Women on my heart. And when God brought this to me, I, I had a conversation in my room and I said, I want to work with kids. That's my goal. And God told me, every woman you touch, you touch her children too. And that's how Women Empowering Women was birthed. Oh, that's wow. beautiful. <laughs> yes. And you, you come from the, um, uh, what's your heritage? What's your background, cultural back background? So we've been here many generations. Uh, my family, some came from Texas. Um, they came back when they came on a carriage. So it was back, back <laughs> when they traveled to California. Um, some families from Mexico, I believe we're all mixed, though. I believe, you know, I would truly love to know where it all started. I am fascinated with that. I believe we're all related at some point or another. So it's it's beautiful when you bring people together. Definitely. Thank you. Um, 
you def you like swipe me off my feet when you said about that conversation with God, because that was actually my first question. I wanted to know what made you want to empower women, but you answered that already. <laughs> well, and I, it's I, I could definitely add to that. So it's amazing how things happen in our life, and I believe everything we go through, even as children, molds us to be who we are today. When I was younger in junior high, I remember, um, you know, there was this girl that I, I just got along with men, boys better in junior high. I could relate to them. And there was this girl that didn't like that. You know, she didn't want me talking to the boys. So through all that, I went through God put women in power, women in my heart. It was my purpose for my life. And I was just thinking a couple of weeks ago how the most amazing women have women have showed up and they're my friends now. And I get to talk to so many beautiful women as yourself. And it's such a blessing. So through the trials that we go through comes something more beautiful. And when we go through that, then we can, we can really appreciate what we have. So I believe that we have to go through the hard times in order for the good times to come. And then we can really value that. That's true. And I know that you, you're interested in reaching out to women globally. It's not only in Southern California. You're interested in bringing a whole uh, United Nations of women together so that together they support each other in their empowerment. How did you do that? So... Interestingly enough, I just take action. I formed my Facebook uh, fan page years ago. And, and this, it's interesting because I was thinking about this too. When, I, when God put Women Empire Women in my heart, I just took action. And I, I believe that that's what makes people different because everybody has goals and dreams and ideas, but it's really taking those things and just moving with it. And I'm someone that, doesn't really ponder on things like if I say I'm going to go jump out of a plane you know skydive I'm going to drive there and jump out I, I because if I think about it too long I'm going to talk myself out of it mm -hmm. so when I created the fan page I didn't realize now we have 6,500 women that have joined mm -hmm. the fan page on on Facebook but the interesting thing is I was talking to my friend from Nepal um, she's going to be at the event. She called me and she said, do you know that one of my friends is liking all your posts on Women Empowered Women? And I said, who is it? She said, but this is the interesting part. She lives in Thailand. Somehow she found you and she's now on the Women Empowered Women page. So this is already going global. Wow. That's amazing. That, that is, is a, really amazing. You're definitely a powerhouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wanted to I wanted to know what do you think are, we are lacking? Because I would say that kind of intellectually we know that we are powerful, but why don't we feel powerful? Why don't we actually um, use that power for all the changes that we know in our hearts are needed? What's holding us back? I believe in my experience. Sometimes all we need is a smile, a friendly word, someone to call and encourage us. Um, I was having this thought as a leader. I was, I was remembering how no one ever calls me to say, are you okay? Do you need anything? Because when we're so strong, people just assume that we don't need help. That's and true. everybody needs that encouragement, that love that you know we're women we go through things no matter what where what we're doing in the world we're still mothers we're still daughters we're friends co-workers significant others so we all need that love that's what we need like that's what's going to change the world is love and compassion and understanding and showing up when we say we're going to show up mm -hmm. Definitely. Accountability. I would like to go back to that conversation you had with God, because I know how important your spiritual life is. And I know that you are a devotee of Reverend Michael Beckwith and you go to Agape. Um, how has that um, 
those principles influence you in doing what you're doing and, and finding your own power to help other women empower themselves? Definitely. I started on my spiritual journey about uh, seven years ago. And every time I think, oh, I made it, there's something else to, to figure out. Going to a spiritual center like Agape, it fills me up. I love being around the people. I love singing the songs. I love the messages. Everything that I hear, I really take and I use it in my life. I apply it. I believe it's so important for us to use our voice. And because it might not, it will plant the seed in that moment, like Michael Bernard does, but it may, it may blossom in a, a week, a month, a year. And I think sometimes our expectations want people to get it right in the moment, but it's, we know as women, we have those aha moments. And that's what happens when you really go do the work and, and I love the spiritual aspect because it helps me to grow and to continue to grow and to look deep within myself internally. How can I be a better mom? How can I be a better woman? How can I, you know, I'm always doing the work. So I, my goal is to get to the peace, to the peace, to the joy, to the love, to the gratitude, um, you know, and, and have those things with me all the time. That's beautiful. And going back to the to the global your gl global reach, I know that you have been invited to visit Africa by one of these women. So do you think do you see yourself becoming like an ambassador of women empowerment all around the world? I am open. Like I said, I I I go with the flow every day of my life. I've just always been that way and God provides. Everything always works. You That's know, beautiful. When you, when you come from a place where your heart's at and you move forward and you believe and you listen, the sky is the limit. So yeah. with Susan from Uganda, I was just on a conversation with her. Uh, she's a friend. We actually reconnected. She's one of my past speakers. She was telling me she was going to, she was going to go to Uganda and I said, I'm going to go with you. And there was, I didn't know why she was going. I didn't know anything. She said, okay. And that's how I was able to be leaving on April 15th to Uganda. I've never left the country before. I'm going to be there almost a month. I think a month. That's and, amazing. Yes. And it's just going, doing it, saying yes. Showing yes. Life. When yes. you say going to do something do it and and the most powerful thing is saying yes wow <laughs> that's true that is so true you, you are, are on the flow Yes, sorry. <laughs> you are you are just full of energy. I'm so I'm you know I'm so surprised about that capability of yours. And I know that you can move a lot of people. What do you think allows you to do that? Do you think is there a gift? How do you because there's many people trying to do stuff and they just can't have people move a leg or or move from where they're standing. And I know that you do have that power that a lot of people listen to you. What do you think is that? What makes the difference between, you know, what you do and which you're capable of moving so many people or other people that try and they, they can't make it? I believe. I believe in the world. I believe in humanity. I believe in men, women. I believe that love is what we need. I believe unity is what we need. The most important part about women empowering women is bringing everybody together. I don't like separation, so I love to bring unity. I love to bring women from different cultures. We all are from different cultures, different beliefs. Uh, we all look different, but we're all women. And that's what's so beautiful. And what I really love is allowing women to get out of their comfort zones by creating these conferences and being in a room from women from Haiti, Africa, Afghanistan, Nepal, Croatia, Ecuador. I have a whole table that follows every event from Ecuador. They're beautiful women. They support me. It's so beautiful to just bring women together. And the world is so big. And 
I think to answer your question, women are so used to their, their comfort zone and their little world that they live in. And there's such a big world out here to go see, to explore, to get to know people. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's wonderful. You are amazing. Definitely. Thank Ted, you. can you can you tell me about the the nature of the event? That, for example, the I do know that you have an event coming up. What do you do there? What what's the goal of the event? Okay, so this is a multicultural event. It is the the title of this event event is I am enough. So I wait on God for information on what I'm supposed to lead. I am enough has it came up about a year ago and even me in my life we all don't sometimes we feel like we lack and that's why this event was so important because we all are enough and the important part too is to know we all sometimes don't feel like we're doing enough or we are enough it could be as a mother falling short because I'm so busy it, you know I am enough can mean several things So the title of the, the event is I Am Enough. We're coming together. There's over 120 women coming out. They're from different cultures. Like I stated, we have um, Argentina, of course, represented right here. Uh, we have <laughs> Lebanon. We have um, Africa, Croatia. These are just some of the speakers. And then in the audience, there's women coming out from different cultures also. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing, definitely. Doctor, do you have questions? Yes, I, I just wanted to say, and this is the fifth year that you uh, put together this event, correct? Yes, this is the fifth year. It's the fifth year anniversary, and I'm super excited. I can't believe how fast time goes by. When I started this, I was thinking my daughter was 12 years old. She's attended every event, and she is now 17. And graduating this year. So when you think about it like that, you're like, wow, how fast the years go by. My baby is now going to graduate. And she's been a part of this also since she was 12 years old. That's gorgeous. What are the, can you tell us about cases that, you know, do you want to share experiences or things on how you have seen people's life changing? I can give you an example right right now. Um, there's this, even a young boy that came to do um, pictures for us. He was 15 years old. He came out to donate his time and to take the pictures for us at the events. Um, he came over last night because he's still continuing to participate in these events. He's now 19 years old. And he was sitting here in front of me last night telling me, how this all changed his life and inspired wow. him. And he's actually going to be at the event. And I know it's a women's event, but to even know this young boy was just taking pictures, but listening in and he never had um, the mother to do what we're doing for him. And now, now they're building the relationship. He's telling me, but back then he was living at a friend's house. And he said that all of us women inspired him just walking around that room. Uh, that is one. There's another one I can mm. think of, Susan from Uganda. She actually is returning as a speaker. She spoke at our last multicultural event. And because of being at the event, she said that she was so inspired by the women that she went and started an organization in Uganda for kids with autism. Mm. And she wanted to bring awareness because women in Africa don't understand about autism. They think there's something wrong with their child. And she wants to spread the light and say, this is something going on globally. There's nothing wrong. This is the measures that you need to take to be able to successfully love and, you know, care for your child. So that's why I'm going to Africa. I found out after I said, yes, <laughs> I'm going to a conference in um, Nairobi where, so Africa's 56 co um, countries and this uh, event that we will be attending, the leaders involved with autism will all be going to this event in Nairobi um, at the end of April. So that was her purpose for going. 
I'm going to be staying in the home that she has where the kids with autism live. We're going to be staying in the master bedroom. So I will be staying with these children. And I love children. I told you that's why I went back to school. So I'm so excited. Wow. That's fantastic. I know that we need to wrap up, but I would like to say something um, to respond to what you say about this boy. And I feel that all these events and, and this impulse of women to empower themselves, it's not to become more than men, it's to create an equal partnership with men. So it's important that the men also transform themselves. And we are sh showing by example how to do it. Yes, and I just want to go further. God did put in my heart to do a men's event. So once I'm good, once we have the women strong, I do plan on that, introducing the men with the women. Men are so powerful too. So I talk to some men and I'm like, wow. And they have a voice too. And and these things really aren't done for men. So this is in my heart too. God has put this in my heart. I believe. It's, it's about everybody, but let's start with the women. The women are the center of the home. If they're good, everybody's good. And the love at the home, and we can have our homes ride and our children ride and because we're full of love and we're able to come and be happy in the home. And that's what this is really about. It's about women coming out and feeling the love, listening to inspiring stories and being able to grow, I grow from everyone. Mm -hmm. I, I listen. I'm so fortunate to be able to talk to all of you because I get built up and then I come home and bring it to my three daughters and my mom and my friends. And, and this is what it's about. It's about our voice and how we use it and to be coming in a loving way. And also when we can't, we can't come in a loving way, for those to love us anyway, because <laughs> we are human, right? We will make mistakes and we will, you know, not know how to handle something. So it's about being both. It's about coming with love, but it's about being loved too. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Where can our audience find you, Susan? They can find me on Facebook, Susan M. Herrera. They also can find the Women Empower Women fan page. You just put all capital letters. It's women with an E-N and then empowering women. And it's all caps. You'll find it. The way you know you found it is it's a silhouette of a woman's head with a pink background. And also we're on Instagram at womenempoweringwomen.one. And if anybody wants to speak to me, I'm always open to emails, to conversations. I love talking to women. I love hearing stories. You can contact me at womenempoweringwomen.one at gmail.com. You also can find us at the event on April 7th. It's this Sunday <laughs> in, at the Country Club in Upland. We would love to see you. We would love to have you. There's so many amazing things happen. And it's not just about one person. It's about everybody. It's about the guests. It's about the speakers. It's about every woman in that room. And we would love to hear from you. And we would love to see you. And we can't wait for Sunday. At what time? So the event starts at 12. Registration is at 11.15. And the event will go until 4.30. Perfect. Dr. Sirena Pelarolo, where can our audience find you? At www.sirenapelarolo.com. That's S-I-R-E-N-A-P-E-L-L-A-R-O-L-O. -L -L -O. And also on Facebook, Dr. Sirena Pelarolo. On Instagram, Dr. Sirena Pelarolo. Twitter, Viva Sirena. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, ladies, thank you so much. Thank you for allowing us to be a channel for, for your words, for your wisdom, for sharing your time with the Mindalia TV audience and to our wonderful and beautiful audience also. Thank you for uh, allowing us to reach you. Remember that you can collaborate with us with your own valuable content and that you can do it in English, Portuguese, and Spanish. For that, you can go to our website. You'll find the link. It says Collaborate with Mindalia, and that link takes you to a form uh, that, can, that will allow us to contact you. 
leave us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channels. In that way, you not only keep yourself updated with the information we share, you also help us reach as much people in the planet as possible. Ladies, thank you again. It's been a wonderful pleasure <laughs> to have you. I'm definitely blessed to be able to uh, share my time with people like you. I'm leaving this empowered and happy. And on the highest note, your company <laughs> is amazing. Thank you. Thank to our you. audience. Bye -bye. So Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Big hug to you, to our audience also. A big hug from us to your heart. And until next time. Thank you.